Boy, it is that time once again, everybody. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, the Dean. www.themanmindset.com. And it's a very special of when she comes over, man. I tell you what. Look at my wife right here. My God, I call her my Gone Girl. Guys, if y'all haven't seen Gone Girl, you need to check that movie out. It shows you why you should get married. But that's not the point. The point is, is dating 101 and what you should do when a woman comes over so i have a great idea for you but first what i want to do i want to show you how i'm gonna set up these little bastard ass kids that come to my house check this out okay guys so check this out the kids come over i'm gonna set up two of these tvs one with the zombies and one with ghosts and i'm gonna scare the shit out of the dead kids but anyway what we have today on our show is we've got a perfect idea to do for your date. It's something simple, it's something easy. It's what I call my cookie bowl ice cream dessert. Very easy, very simple to solve. It's gonna take probably under five minutes to set up and to make. So on this edition of this, when she comes over, we're doing the cookie bowl ice cream. Very tasty. Hey, how you doing guys? Steve Dean Williams here. Just want to do a little bit of prep work for you just to show you, just give you an idea of what we have here. Uh, basically what we have here is just three, it, it, this is going to be a real easy when she comes over. All you're going to need is cookies, baked cookies. And what I have here is, I, now the bag's kind of ripped open, dark chocolate, I've got chocolate chip, and if you can't see it, macadamia nuts, I ripped these things open. And I got strawberries for, uh, for the thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep the strawberries. So basically this is a real easy thing. All you have to do is literally uh, cut up the strawberries. And what I, uh, what I would suggest you do is cut slices and I will cut up straw, straw, uh, strawberries in cubes. The ones that you have in cubes, make sure you sprinkle a little bit of sugar on them and put them in the refrigerator. Other than that, the prep time, the prep work and everything, this is going to be a very easy when she comes over. All it is is getting the dough, putting it in the pan and taking it out and setting it up. So this is going to be a very easy when she comes over. I'm going to go ahead and prep these strawberries right now and I'm going to show you real quick how to put the dough into the pan. It doesn't matter what kind of pan it is, but I'm just using a special pan for, for this addition uh, of when she comes over. So check this out. All right guys, what I've done here real quick is I've taken all the dough out, I rolled it up in a ball, kind of like a ball, like a bunch of clay, and I smashed it down to flat pieces right here. All you see is three flat pieces. Now what we want to do with these flat pieces real quick is we want to take every piece, put them in the freezer so it can get hard enough so when you peel it, you'll be able to layer it around the, the, the pan and then you'll put it in the oven. This is a very easy, very quick prep this is not going to be hard. It's a quick setup. This is going to be a fast show. So guys, so all you want to do is again get your your your. Uh, for instance, here's your here's a, just a piece of it right here. Take it, you roll it up. You got to have it in a ball, and then you put it on some. I put mine's on some uh, paper plates. Smash them, and then what I did next is I'm taking them into the refrigerator right now. Okay, guys, this is what I've done. Now I've taken all the. I've taken all the uh, the, the dough and I smack, you know, I, I rolled it up like I told you. And then what I've done is I've layered it, layered it on top of the thing, on top of the, not the inside, but the outside of the pan. So as you can see, as you see, we have the, the oh, I guess I can't see it. I see, you can see the fudge right here. This is the macadamia and that's the chocolate. I'm sorry, it's the chocolate, macadamia and fudge. So what I've done is I, I've kind of sculpted them on top, not inside the bowl, but on the, on the outside of it to, to form the bowl, okay? So now what we wanna do is we wanna take this and put this in the oven. Guys, as you can see right now, I've taken two of them out of the thing and I've got the last one, the, maca, the, the, the black dark chocolate one. Same way, you just take it and it's gonna be hard crust, so you just pull that out of there once you cook it. And there you have it, it's, it's, it's a bowl shaped, as you can see. I didn't wanna cut off the edges, I wanna keep the edges the same. So 
what we're doing right here, if you, if you look at it right here, what we have right here now is that we have three bowls now. Now what we want to do is we want to fill those bowls up. All right, guys, this is where we have all the fun at. Now, we have our three bowls. Now, remember, guys, this is the time where, like I said before, you, you cut up the strawberries and we'll do that. And what we want to do, since we have three different uh, kinds of bowls, we have the dark chocolate bowl right here. We have the chocolate chip bowl right here. And last but not least, we have the macadamia nut bowl right here. So what we want to do is we want to fill these with three different types of ice cream. Now I do have three different kinds of ice creams I want to pull out that we're going to use. Uh, for this one, we want to go with, now again, if you want to do a chocolate on chocolate, depending on how much she loves chocolate, I would do that. But I want a little contrast. So what I would want to do for the, the dark chocolate, I want to put a uh, vanilla ice cream with strawberries or something. Uh, for the for the chocolate chip we can make that a chocolatey chocolate chip if you want to or we can put strawberries in there now the ice cream now again the strawberries gonna come into play with all three of those things because it's gonna make it well except for the chocolate itself you don't want to add strawberries and chocolate in at the same time so uh, we're gonna get all this together but now we have the bowls done now it's time to go ahead and kind of put all this thing together and set up this uh, this date the way it should be and also remember that it is Halloween and some of the things that my wife has for the kids and stuff are sprinkles different kinds of sprinkles that you can use as you can see there there are different kind of sprinkles that you can sprinkle on here uh, several that that go with the theme of Halloween so these are little candy uh, sprinkles that you can use and put on uh, your on your uh, your chocolate chip cookie something just an idea something that you can use something that you can do but what I have decided on doing is I'm going to use just a few different things here uh, some uh, caramel some caramel glaze I'm going to use some strawberry glaze to go with the strawberries and I have nut toppings and I also have a heat shell. You know, you put the shell over the ice cream, it gets hard. So uh, these are the things I want to use. But again, if you want to use some of these, if some of these sprinkles and things like that, you're more than you can't do that. But this is my wife has her little Halloween stuff where she makes her cupcakes and all the other shit. So move that out of the way. But these these are the ingredients we're going to use uh, also. Uh, with some strawberries so basically that's that's what I would say you have you have the three you have the kind of ice cream with the chocolate vanilla strawberry you have strawberries which we cut up uh, we're going to use some uh, caramel strawberry glaze nut toppings and the shell this is like the magic shell that you put on the uh, the ice cream to get hard so let's go ahead and create this thing right now let's go ahead and put this thing together Okay guys, we're about to put this thing together. We're not really put this game together. I just want to talk about it real quick. Uh, as you can see right here, I have two different types of strawberries right here that I want you to see right here. You got two different kinds of strawberries that I did right here. Uh, on one end I have right here are the sliced strawberries. I, I, I cut them all up into bits and slices. But on this end over here, you see I have cut, uh, as you see up close, I just made bigger slices because those are going to be the big pieces. So I've got big pieces on this side. I've got sliced up ones on this side. So now it's time just to prep and just put everything together and create this thing. So what we so what we want to get now, we'll, we'll slide this back. But also I just want to show you real quick before we get into uh, the prepping. I just want to grab some sugar, just, just a little bit of sugar. I just grabbed some sugar. And like I told you before, just, just grab a pinch of it and sprinkle it on there. Just sprinkle the sugar on there. Just get the sugar on there. It gives it extra taste and everything like that. Extra sweetness, I call it. So now that we have that out of the way, let's move that, let's move this aside. And let's show you the ice cream because now it's time to kind of put all this stuff together and we will put all this stuff together. But I want to kind of give you an idea. It doesn't have to be bluebell ice cream or what have you, it's just ice cream. But uh, basically, uh, let me open it up for you. Napoleon, but as you can see, you've got three different flavors. You got the, the strawberry, uh, the white, and the chocolate right there. So you got three different flavors. But what we want to do is we want to what we want to grab is our vanilla because let's start off with the vanilla since we're doing the strawberries. Matter of fact, we're going to do the vanilla and the strawberries because again, 
I just don't want just regular strawberry. I want to give it an extra boost of oomph. And that's what we're going to do for the vanilla and the, the as well as the strawberry. So just to give you an idea of how we're going to put all this stuff together, just to kind of guide you along with that. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and get a scoop. Go ahead and dig in this joint. Get a scoop of vanilla. Got a new thing. Scoop of vanilla. Then we want to get a nice scoop. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's too much scoop. <laughs> nice scoop of strawberry, which we have. Strawberry right here. And also put that on there. If it comes out correctly. Should come out. All right. We'll put the, we'll do the chocolate in a second. Let's let's work on these for a second. So basically what we have right here is as you can see we have the the vanilla we have the vanilla here we have the strawberry here now it's got this place called marble slab i don't know if you ever had marble slab where you're at but what you want to do is you want to take your you want to take your the bottom or back end of your scooper and kind of smash in there kind of open it up a little bit like we are right now it's kind of now remember this the ice cream is kind of hard you want to kind of get it a little bit soft but that's fine then what you want to do is you want to take some of your strawberries and you want to put you want to put a little bit of your strawberries in the strawberry one and you'll put some strawberries in the vanilla and then what you do just like marble slab you kind of mash it all together now remember please have your hands clean guys don't don't do any of this stuff without your hands being washed okay so now that we have that done, so now what we want to do is we want to get the scoop of the white strawberry. There's a strawberry right there. What to do? I'm going to put the strawberry in with the other strawberry. Now we want to grab some more strawberry and we just want to keep this process going. Now remember guys, this, is a, this is, can be a, a great conversational piece. We're just about done right here. What we have is we've got our vanilla, we've got our vanilla, our strawberry, and our chocolate right here. And you can see they're cookie bowls. They fit in a cookie bowl. This is perfect. It's a cookie bowl. But they can eat around the outside. Now we have right here, we have our caramel, our nuts, and our sauce. <laughs> this is pretty funny me saying that bullshit. Anyway, what I would do is I want to take some of the magic sauce right there and pour it over the chocolate and let it harden. But while I'm doing that, while I have the sauce on there and doing that with this one, as you can see, and let me zoom in a little bit more instead of zoom out. As you can see, it's going to get hard. But what I want to do while I'm doing that is get a little bit of sprinkles on there. Put a little bit of sprinkles on there while it gets hard because this 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 is like a shell I don't know if that might be too much but you know you can never have enough nuts <laughs> so anything that's access that we do we have we just kind of shake that off any access nuts there you go now and then that one is going to freeze up that'll be that one let's rotate it to the next one take the nuts out all right, with this one, we want to add a little caramel. Not too much, but just a drizzle. We want to drizzle the caramel. There you go. It's a little caramel drizzle. And last but not least, the one you have, the bowl with the strawberries. The strawberry bowl right here. You want to take some preserve, some of the strawberry preserve. Now, what might be better is if you do it matter of fact what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and heat up a little bit to to microwave it just to get a little bit creamy all right guys just toss it in the microwave for a few minutes until it gets a little bit soupy swirl it around a little bit take a dollop of it and there you go kind of layer it not let not too much but just put some on there just lay some on there it's not not too much because it's hot you don't want to melt all your ice cream but you want to just put some more in there. Then to finish it up, if you want to, you can add more strawberries on there if you want. But that's about it, guys. 
So guys, as you can see, it's something that's very easy, very simple that you can do from the comfort of your own home. Uh, it doesn't take a long time to do, but it gives you, or it gives her variety of which one. Once you realize what her favorite taste is, what her favorite ice cream is, you can make these bowls. They're very easy, very simple. Now, because it is Halloween, I would take some of these uh, little sprinkles right here and just lay a few of them on top, just, just for the, the sake of Halloween, you know, just the, the red and the orange, you know, and uh, just have fun with it. Have fun. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of our show when she comes over. I'm Steve Dean Williams, and if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, send me an email. I'll be happy to talk to you. But anyway, this, guys, is another edition of when she comes over. You can dig in and enjoy. See, it, it, it crumbles. Now, it, it, there you go. As you can see, it crumbles, and you can just dig in. You can get a little bit of cookie, and I love crunchy cookies for me, but you can, you can dig in. Mm. This is where it's at. Again, guys. All you gotta do is take a little bit of time, a little bit of energy, a little effort, um, and just have some good conversation. Mm. It's start some conversations off, talk to her, enjoy the cookie, enjoy the ice cream. It's all there. Depending on if she likes chocolate chalk, really dark chocolate, or she likes macadamia nuts, or she likes chocolate chip, whatever one it is. But it gives you an opportunity to have conversations with her while you're having dessert, enjoying each other's company, and be able to have great conversations. And that's what it's all about, especially when she comes over, guys. Really. <laughs> hey, 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 check it out, man. So check it out, it's gonna be really dark. The little kids come to trick or treat. And what are they gonna see on one TV? This is the other TV I'm gonna have set up here. I'm gonna have that. So when they come with Trick or Treat, one side is gonna be the zombies, the other side is gonna be this. It's gonna scare the shit out of them goddamn kids. Anyway, www.themanmindset.com, guys, when she comes over.